Hey everybody out there in Hot Rod Land, it's Phil coming to you once again from Carcraft Classics. Today showing off this beautiful 1989 Chevy S10 Blazer. Check out this cool little truck. This is awesome. We'll talk about that in just a minute, but before we get started, for those of you watching one of my videos for the first time, this is Carcraft Classics. We're located at 321 Canton Road. We're here in Cumming, Georgia about 30 miles north of Atlanta, about 40 minutes north of the airport. Phone number for the shop is 470-239-4977. Again, my name is Phil. My cell is 770-317-1415. We can also be reached via email at carcraftclassics at gmail.com. And if you're into the classic cars and trucks and wheel and tire packages and cool neon signs, give us a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to our channel down below. Be sure to visit us on the web at carcraftclassics.com. <clears throat> so, 1987 Chevy S10 Blazer. This one came to us from an existing customer. His name is Danny. He's a local guy here in Georgia. And he bought an old Ford pickup from us about a year back. And uh, he's slowly coyote swapping that truck. And in the, mid in the middle of that build, he, he had this one going on. And uh, he just recently finished it. He said he was going to bring us a cool S10 Blazer. And boy, he came through. This thing is slick. Really excited to show this to you. But before we get into the details of this particular truck, just a little history on the S10 Blazer. Now the S10 pickups were around and uh, were very successful for GM. And uh, you know, they decided to go with a fixed roof Blazer style. It's smaller than the full size Blazer. This is what they referred to as a midsize SUV. And they were introduced in 1983, I believe. And America fell in love immediately. If you were around at that time, Man, you know that there was one of these in every other driveway. So popular, the Jimmy and the Blazer it was crazy. And I remember seeing them being used for, you know, heavy duty reasons, you know, as workhorse trucks, as uh, cool customs as this one is, and even, you know, grocery getters. Load the kids, go to the grocery store. They were used for utility, heavy duty stuff. And then you started seeing them pop up at all the custom shows. And uh, we've got a cool one. It's got more of a contemporary look than those I remember back in the 80s, but uh, super slick. So let's get into the build here. First of all, in the jewelry box, you'd be pleasantly surprised. It's got an LS engine. It's been LS swapped with a cool 5.3 liter V8. These came, I believe, in 89. I think they introduced the new six cylinder. The four cylinder, I think you could get from 88 and back. And then in, in late 88, I think they introduced a six cylinder, but this one, I think the horsepower went from 150 to 160 in 89. So they beefed up the six cylinder a little bit, but they, they didn't sell them with V8s to my knowledge. But anyway, this one does have a V8 in it. As you can see, it takes up every little bit of that engine compartment, but it does fit in there pretty well. This again is an LS engine. It's a 5.3 liter V8. And we're thinking it's pushing around 400 horsepower. I think it was three out of the box. And then this engine is a fresh engine. It's been rebuilt. Uh, it's, there's a small cam. It's got aluminum heads that have also been rebuilt. And I think it was bored 20 over. So we're guessing with that, plus the exhaust and everything, it's probably somewhere around 500 horsepower. Although I don't have a dyno sheet, I do have a receipt for the rebuild on the engine. And I've got some other details written down at the end of this video. I'm going to uh, read off all those details, but for now, just know that it's an LS V8. You see the headers down there. It's got a nice upgraded Mechman alternator. It's got the Phytec fuel injection system on it. As you can see, the intake. It's all computerized, new ECM, fresh AC compressor. Everything's charged and ice cold. Everything's working. A nice new upgraded battery. It's super clean. 
I tell you, if GM would have saw this, they probably would have put the V8 in. It really fits in there well. Of course, we've got the, the brake booster, the dual master cylinder. It's got four-wheel disc brakes, this particular truck. It used to come with uh, drum brakes on the rear and disc brakes in the front, but the rear end was upgraded to something with, uh, with disc brakes in the rear. So now it's got four-wheel power disc brakes. As you can see, it's got a new radiator, dual electric fans. Take a peek at that cool serpentine belt system. I think that came out of a C5 Corvette. And Danny was explaining that he needed to use that to tuck the accessories and everything closer to the engine just to get the build, get the engine to fit in there. And boy, it fits in there snug, like I said. Looks really, really nice. Power steering, power disc brakes. Again, the Fitec fuel system is all new. New fuel lines, new tank, new uh, sender, uh, new fuel injectors. Of course, the Fitec, you know, the intake system there, fuel, fuel injection system is new as well. There's those aluminum heads. This thing is a blast to drive. All right, let's get that hood down. Just a minute. I described the paint on the truck as somewhere in the eight and a half to nine range. I mean, I don't see any blemishes around, but I'm rare to give anything a 10, or I should say it's rare that I give anything a 10. Grill is in excellent shape. Front and rear bumpers are in excellent shape. You can see the headlights have been swapped out for HIDs in the front. It's got a cool little two or three inch cowl hood on it. Adds to that custom look of the truck. I'm gonna say this is a victory red color. I don't have any paperwork on it, but I've seen enough of them to make an educated guess here. Looks like GM's factory victory red. Super slick going down the side of the truck. No bubbles, no cracking, no paint coming off. I mean, it doesn't look like it was painted yesterday, but certainly within the last five years, super smooth, super slick. Paint is in excellent, excellent shape. So with the midsize SUVs, the Jimmy and the Blazer, the S10 size, and the, I think Jimmy was an S15, uh, they only made the two doors. The four doors didn't come around until, I think, the early 2000s. And I just love that body style. I know all you guys and gals out there do as well. Just that compact little SUV look. Super cool. Got the nice chin spoiler under that nice clean front bumper. We've got a newer set of Riddler wheels. That's an 18 by 8 and I think an 18 by nine and a half in the rear, staggered 18s on those wheels. We've got Bridgestone tires. We've got a 245.50 in the rear and a 225.45 up front. Plenty of tread left on those tires. I mean, you've got a fresh build here. I think it's got 1,600 miles on the odometer. Uh, so it's definitely a fresh build, ready to be enjoyed. and a recent build, recently completed, I should say. Again, paint is in great shape. I don't see any rust bubbles or any flaking, checking, anything like that. Looks like it's been well taken care of. In the back, you see the audio system's been upgraded. One little piece of that audio system is this sub box in the rear. I think they're 20 inch uh, kicker, comp R sub woofers. And uh, that thing pumps, man. I tell you, it's a smaller, you know, cabin compartment in here. Cockpit, call it what you want. Uh, it doesn't take much to light it up. And boy, that stereo does the job. I'll show you that here in just a few minutes. But the spare is there. Carpet's in great shape, as you can see. It's got a custom tweed style red and gray interior, which looks super cool as well. So 
story about the shadows. We'll be sure to get pictures of the exterior, the interior, and the undercarriage. And put those up on the website. We'll make sure there's no shadows. But I always like to roll the cars and trucks outside for the video. Just so you guys can really see what everything looks like nice and clearly. All right. So there she is. See that cool little purse badge there? It does have a hearse shifter in it. We talked about that. And look at that thing, pin straight. Laser straight down the sides. Man, this thing is in excellent shape. Shows no evidence of Bondo or any kind of repairs having been done to the truck. Now we talked briefly about the engine. And I wanted to just let you know that uh, that engine is connected to a cool, old-school Muncie four-speed manual transmission. That's where that shifter comes in. It's got a brand new clutch. It's got a new new throwout bearing. It's got I got a list of stuff I want to read to you at the end of this video as far as technical mechanical upgrades that have been done. But in the rear end, you've got the rare Chevy eight and a half inch rear end. And that's how he ended up with disc brakes. Rear end's been swapped out. See the rear disc brakes. Front disc brakes. Inner fenders are clean. Hopefully you can see that in the video. Frame rail's clean there. I won't be getting down on the ground and filming any of the undercarriage, but there will be still shots of the undercarriage on the website. Again, visit carcraftclassics.com to see more. Glass is in good shape. This is a power window, power lock truck. I think what I'm going to do here is pause really quickly and then we'll pick it up in just a moment on the interior and get the truck fired up and let you hear it as well. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, we're back with the 1989 Chevy S10 Blazer. I'm going to show you the interior and let you hear how this beast sounds here in just a moment. But uh, I forgot earlier in the video to mention the stance. I'm sure you all noticed this doesn't have its factory stance anymore. That's because it's got a Beltec lowering kit installed on it. Spindles and springs in the front, flip kit in the rear with a lowering block. I think it's a one or two inch lowering block in the rear. Absolutely love the stance. Got a little bit of a rake to it, which I, looks, which I think looks great with that body style. Nothing's rubbing. Everything was done professionally. So just wanted to mention that to you real quick because I forgot earlier in the video, but let's get on to the interior. First, I want you to hear this thing. Then we'll talk about the interior and all that stuff. killer 
chop to that idle. Nothing over the top. But it definitely sounds way better than it did coming from the factory. No unusual sounds coming from the engine compartment. Let's see what else with the interior. Let's start out here. As I mentioned, it's got a custom interior. It's a red and gray combination, kind of a tweed material. It's in excellent shape. While we're looking at the door, I can show you there's no rust. Paint in here is just as good as, as it is on the exterior. It is a power window and lock truck. Rockers are in excellent shape. Sorry about that sun glare. Red and gray combination or design is carried over to the high bucket back seats. Or high back buckets, I should say. Cool Chevy logo there. There's that build sheet or a list of details I want to go over with you towards the end of the video. But Again, buckets, middle console, four-speed manual shifter. Again, that is a Hurst setup. Hopefully you can see that there. This interior was done professionally. You can see even the materials used for the A-pillars, matching material for the headliner. This thing is sweet. Back seats have barely been sat in. Carpet's in great shape. Floor mats as well. I showed you in the back, it's got that sub box with the 220 inch kicker sub subwoofers for the base let me show you the rest of the stereo system here in a moment now, earlier in the video when we were showing you the uh, engine compartment I showed you that uh, this particular truck has the go EFI Fitech system Let's see if we can get this to work this is a little dashboard that comes with the EFI system that you can mount here inside the cockpit and make adjustments to your tune and get information get information about you know the fuel usage and you see the choices there super cool to have that here inside the cockpit like I said and anybody who likes the late 80s early 90s trucks knows that the gauges weren't the best they kind of had that thermometer style gauge. It was the blue. It ran left to right. And uh, they were not only inaccurate, but they didn't look real well. Didn't look real good inside. So anyway, as you can see, there's a custom set of gauges installed in the dash of this 89 S10 Blazer. They are super cool and way better looking. And let's see if we can turn the lights on so you can see how they're going to look at night. All the gauges are connected. Got the factory steering wheel here with tilt wheel. We've also got, let's see, AC that blows ice cold. Here's that Pioneer system with the flip up screen. Let's see if we can get some music going here. <laughs> Get my feel. 
right. So that's the interior. Seats in great shape. Driver seat sometimes can be worn, but this one's in excellent shape. Just love the look of those high back buckets. Middle console, that four speed first shifter. Pumped about as much cool as you can, or as we say, badassery, as much as you can into this little 89 S10 Blazer. Again, I apologize about the glare, but we'll get you some really good, clear still shots of the exterior, interior undercarriage and engine compartment again they'll be up on my website carcraftclassics.com probably within 24 hours unless we hit any snags so anyway there she is LS 5.3 4 speed Muncie transmission 8.5 inch 10 bolt rear end four-wheel disc brakes the list goes on and on as a matter of fact let's get the list so I can read it to you because I'm sure I'm forgetting something again guys and gals the glass the paint everything is in really excellent condition in this truck you want something ready for the show turn key for those starting out in the hobby with classics or maybe somebody who's got their baby in the garage and want something cool that's still got a few years on it some, some age that they can drive around every day reliable this is your your truck all right let's see here so the engine was rebuilt and yes I do have paperwork I have a receipt from the, uh, the company that rebuilt the engine and they also rebuilt the heads so let's talk about it it was uh, the engine was bored 20 over we're estimating 400 horsepower new pistons rings ARP rod bolts rear main seal and bearings rebuilt factory aluminum heads new Lunati cam LS7 lifters comp cam valve springs Muncie four-speed manual transmission new Hurst shifter and clutch assembly with the McLeod throwout bearing Alright, let's see what else we got here. What other goodies? Talked about the fuel text, uh, Phytech fuel system. New ECM, new intake throttle body fuel pump and sender. It's got a 3.42 gear ratio in the rear end. New radiator, electric fans, headers, and dual exhaust. We talked about that serpentine belt system came out of a C5 Corvette and really helped to get that motor to fit in that engine compartment. It's got a new Mechman alternator, four-wheel disc brake upgrade, Beltec suspension lowering kit, Riddler 18-inch wheels, Bridgestone tires. Again, those that's a 245.50 and a 225.45. Again, staggered 18-inch wheels setup. Power steering with tilt column, factory AC that does blow cold. Power windows and locks, upgraded custom gauges, working lights and directionals, Pioneer stereo system. I think it's got four by six inch speakers in the dash, six by nines in the doors, and again, those subs in the box and uh, the enclosure in the rear. And got all kinds of amplifiers on the system too. It's way too loud for me, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And again, engine rebuild receipt and clean title is available for this truck. All right, let's get down to business. The asking price on this truck is a fair $19,500. You know the old saying, you couldn't build it for that, and you certainly couldn't. As you've heard me say before in my videos, give me a holler if you have any questions. We can help with light customization. Let's say you want to change the wheels or something, we could do that. We also can help with financing and delivery. In lower 48 states, we have no problem putting this right in your driveway. Again, the asking price is $19,500. Our finance company, our preferred finance company, is JJ Best, and they typically require 20% down. We do accept trades as long as they're cool classics like this one and in good shape. My name is Phil. My cell number is 770-317-1415. Feel free to give me a holler. I'll be glad to uh, answer any questions you have. You can schedule a test drive, come on over and take a peek at it. 
And again, there will be still shots of the exterior, interior, engine compartment, and undercarriage at carcraftclassics.com. Check us out. All right, thank you very, very much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, again, 770-317-1415. Thanks again for watching, and God bless America.